drove six hours up to Mount Kandil to meet with the PKK leader Murat Karayelan. The Turkish government is threatening cross-border operations to rid him and his fighters from their base in Mount Kandil. It says that from here, they plan and support attacks on Turkish soil. Murat Karayelan says that as long as Kurds in Turkey are not given their rights, they will continue their struggle. It is not true that we are crossing the border. We have fighters everywhere, even on the border. It is not necessary to send any from here. How can we send them from here to the Black Sea? It is too far. They are not telling the truth. Turkey's aim is to attack Iraqi Kurds. So Turkey has a point when it says that there are fighters that go from northern Iraq or arms that go from northern Iraq into southern Turkey. Turkey might very well attack. Its real aim is to put pressure on Iraqi Kurdistan. But it is doing this now because of the bill on the Armenian genocide. They are putting pressure on the U.S. to gain something from them. Now, Turkey says that through these mountains you smuggle weapons into, uh, from here into Turkey. Iraq is a free market. You can buy whatever weapon you want. Is this true? It is not so difficult to buy arms here. You can also buy them in Istanbul. If you have money, you can buy them anywhere. Turkey is using this as an argument for attacking Iraq. Turkey is trying to prevent us from getting a political solution and continues to deny the rights of the Kurds in Turkey. In Iraq, the head of the state is a Kurd and Turkey doesn't recognize Kurdish leaders. They have a problem with Kurds. The Iraqi government for the first time labeled the PKK as a terrorist organization and they clearly said publicly that they are going to chase you from these mountains. I think Turkey is going to put more pressure on the Kurds, but we are open for solutions. But if Turkey is going to use violence against our movement, our leader and our people, then we will respond. It seems that Turkey is preparing for an attack. That means we have to resist. Now, the PKK leader also said that there had been no direct contact between him and the government in Baghdad after the visit of Prime Minister El Malaki in Ankara, where he signed a memorandum of understanding in which he pledged to rid these mountains of PKK fighters. With such a resolve, Kurds living near the Iraqi-Turkey border can only expect more trouble ahead. Neither the PKK nor Turkey seem to have found a starting point for negotiations that could lead to a peaceful settlement. Hod Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, in the mountains of northern Iraq.